Hey guys, CTHM Productions here, back with another how-to basics reel-to-reel -reel video. And this video is something very, very basic that can also be very, very challenging the first time you do it. And this video is going to be how to thread a reel-to-reel -reel machine. And so it might look intimidating, we got a lot of moving levers and parts here, but it's really not that hard. So I've got here a reel that is actually just some tape that I have some things recorded on. And we're going to thread this reel. So the first thing you're going to want to do is put the reel on the machine. So this one has the style of the push-on little suction cup things as they're called. Some machines have a little screw on here that you will unscrew it and the pins will align and you can put the reel on or take it off. Um, this one has this style. So I can go ahead and slide our reel on and line it up. There it goes. And put our rubber back on. So now we have the tail of the tape. The tail is a, normally a colored part of the tape, and it's plastic that you know it cannot be recorded on, it's just for threading purposes. So now here's how this works. For this specific machine, it has an auto reverse, so there's one more thing to go over, but other than that, this is identical for almost every reel-to-reel -reel machine out there. So first of all, we want the tape going outside to outside, remember that, not inside to outside or anything funky like that. It won't work right. It could eat your tape and damage it. Um, it's very important to have the tape going outside to outside. Not to mention it will not play, it will play in reverse if you do it the other way. So take our uh, tail here. We want to go around the tape, outside the guide roller. Then we want to go over our auto reverse. If you don't have that, you just continue. Underneath our head assembly, so this is our head assembly here, between, this is the capstan roller as we talked about, and this is the pinch roller, between the capstan and pinch roller, around the other guide roller, which will engage this to start spinning. My spring's a little weak, um, but it, see how it, it will bounce back if you don't have it in there, so you want to pull it around there. And then we go into our reel over here. So now we've pretty much threaded this reel. Um, the easy and, and kind of cheesy way I think to do this is you just now wind this around like that, press play, and it will grab and pull it, and life is good. The better way I think to do it is there's actually little notches inside this reel, which we'll see if I can get a close-up shot of. So if we look down inside this reel, you may be able to see that there's little slits in there. Yeah, you can kind of see it. And I like to put the tape in there and then wrap it around. It's just a cleaner way of doing it. It doesn't damage the tail. So we're going to show you how to do that now. It's the same process, and I'll repeat it for you guys. We'll take our tail under the guide, under the guide, over the auto reverse. One more time. Under the guide, over the auto reverse, under the head assembly, between the capstan and pinch roller, around the guide roller. So now what I like to do is I like to take the tail of my tape here. Oops, if I can not lose track of it. I like to take the tail of my tape. I like to stick it into one of the notches there. There it is. Hold it with my finger, and then wrap it around, like so. Let it wrap around and move your finger. Oops, did not work. Try it again. That's one of the things about using these old machines is it's very... Professionals, I'm sure, are laughing at me and could do this in their sleep, but I don't do this every day, so... Every time is a learning experience. So there we go. Now we have it wrapped like so. And that is how you thread a reel to reel machine. And don't forget to set your tape counter too. I normally set it right when the magnetic tape hits the reel, is where I set my counter. Um, but it's up to you. And I hope this video has been helpful. Please give it a thumbs up. If you have any more questions, comment. Check out the other videos in this series, and there's more to come. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you like things like this. and. Uh, machines and old electronics, uh, I've got plenty where this came from. So thank you for watching and have a good one.